right i have just started coding this session okay this is even beautiful i'm saying almost all persons that care more I see lots of new persons and even more than what came to the physical session last week. What happened now? Uh, we can barely hear you. Look at network. Network, okay. Can you hear me now? No, we can actually hear you, but like your voice is right for it somehow. You said my voice is cracking. Okay. Yes. I think it's my system is running lots of softwares now. Let me close one of them. Okay, let's close that up. Um, is my voice better now or is it cracking? Oh, it's not though. That's if so, your, your face is echoing like itself at the time. Right. Don't tell me it's still the same. It should be better now. You have a headset, that should help. Um, I'm trying to tell you that issue. Is this no better? I do have a headset, but I'm telling you that the reason why my system voice was kind of doing that earlier is not headset where I am. I'm the only person here and it has noise cancellation and all that. It's because I was running some heavy software. So that was why my voice was cutting. Why is my voice still cutting? We can hear you now, we can do with this. All right, thank you very much. So what all of us do immediately is just um, quickly just um, start by, you know, Introducing ourselves, we will start from the first person on the list, which is Mutiat, then Justice, then Mary, and we'll keep going like that. You just introduce yourself and tell us if you were available for the physical session or not. If you say you were not available for the session last week, you tell us why you weren't available for the session last week. All right. One, two, three, go. Okay, my name is Abikaju Mutiat, a fellow for UIUX, and I was available for the physical session last week. Okay, I'm also one of the course reps. All right, yeah. next person, go on, go on. People should just be talking like that, please. This is put a justice. Uh, what? Yeah, you are design. So I will. The class you had last week. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Mary, Carlo, and I was in class last weekend. In fact, I was the one that shared my data with King Henry Ize. Thank you. Yeah. Chairman, it's your turn now. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Year. Go on, go on. Yeah, my name is uh, Clifford Sunday, a fellow of uh, UI UX. I was not the uh, I was not in the physical meeting the other on Saturday. So why? Why? Okay, I was I was not there. I was I was a bit uh, occupied with some activities in my workplace. Can you hear me? 
Good afternoon. Can you hear me, sir? Wow. Well, we can hear you, sir. Okay, my name is Design. I wasn't present at the last uh, physical meeting because I was not aware we were having a meeting. Wow. So, do you have been getting emails or? Oh, you are not checking your emails. The email I got or I received was actually uh, the one of yesterday. So I, I was kind of surprised that I'm just getting an email yesterday. That was the first email I was able to get. Yeah, you check your email where I have not been sending emails. All right, Hosanna. Right. Welcome, Mr. Charles. Okay, well. Good morning. Good afternoon. My name is Ozana. I was not present the last time. I was not aware. Just get to enjoy. If I'm not aware, so you're not checking your email too. Not really. I'm just here and the and the fights engaged. So I think I didn't know you. Um, so, thank you. I believe thank God we have questions now, and I believe they've been reaching out to you guys, right? Yes. Um, Charles, they reached out to you, right? Hello. So, Harry, record me. Cost reps reached out to you, right? Yes. All right. You see, we are doing a beautiful job. So keep it up. Justice. No, we need to. And I'm sorry, lost. Okay, now go on. Samuel Amos. All right, please, next person, please. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Can wait. Miss M of Samuel. Okay. I was, uh, yes, I was present in the last day. Uh, all right, all right. Yeah, well, Sorry, my, my uh, network is a little bit bad. So I was present in the last um, class. It's all right. Justice, I hope you're taking attendance, please. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll try and do that. So, uh, Jesus, I dropped this message in the group now. Um, I think about how many persons we have to see, two or three persons that left. I think about mm -hmm. two, two or three persons left. Mutiat and two other persons left. So add that number to this. So 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14. Maduka just left. So in case they join back, you know those that went on and off. Okay. Right. Okay. So, um, thank you so much, everyone, for the brief introduction. So we don't want to be eating up our time too much. You know, we, of course, cannot get to introduce everyone. So one thing would be made in our love us to get to do now is those persons that were available for the last class, um, we just run through what we treated in the last class so that those that couldn't make it, who join us, would, you know, get caught up with us, okay? So... Please just unmute your mic and you know speak to us what you learned from the from the last class, please. Yeah. 
Mary, Justice, Samuel. Speak, Guru, speak, 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 speak. Okay, so I was trying to create a, a note for the attendance. Okay, okay. Oh, oh. Yeah, very. See if it was about, I was about calling Nana, no, no, because that face looks familiar. She just ran away. Okay. Uh, I think in, in the last time, we we treated uh, uh, UI versus me kind of explain the concept what it really is and how um how practical aspects and also we uh, made an instance with um the suite of web application or also we really understand um what uh, UI really is and also what UX is as user interface and um user experience and how um designers marry both of them to give um end users like the best of whatever products they are delivering to them. Um I think that that was just really like wrap up for today. Okay. Okay. So Mutias welcome. We are asking what we treated in the last class. So please Tell us, give us a, 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 a review of our last class, please. She don't run again. All right. So, um, Justice, the videos have more items been uploaded or it's still at that point since? I'm not sure they've uploaded any again. Mm, yeah, that point. Maybe, maybe. No, I, I didn't really check. I didn't really check like right, a check. Working today from check and uh, give me the feedback. I think what we live on the website again should be something dot school Africa dot com or so. I don't know. We just whichever it is, just log in and check. You should have uploaded new videos by now. All right. So, welcome everyone. So, I am King Henry Fizé. I see the majority of the persons in this call were present for the last session. So, our King Henry is a chief technical mentor of KC Trades and your facilitator and tutor for product design. Hallelujah. So, um, talking about new IUX, which I have literally, um, um, we are so, so blessed that this is, this is a subject matter that I have been teaching for quite a while now, to the extent, yes, YouTube channel where yeah, materials on this course have been uploaded. So, I've done... Oh, you my next class Sorry. Well, it's fine. Go to come to the city now. It's just like village, village. <laughs> because land is cheap, yeah, so that you can build that history building. <laughs> All right, so... Um, back to what I'm talking about. So I've just dropped a, a link to the YouTube channel. So if you are not subscribed to the YouTube channel, it's not fair. Please click on that link now and get subscribed, okay? Get subscribed. So we have a dedicated... You know what's hiding in your business's data? Companies of all sizes use BigQuery to uncover new insights from their data. We have dedicated playlists. Oh, All right, guys. Um, good morning. Good afternoon. We have dedicated playlists. And I'll still be dropping a link to the playlist where UI UX related videos have been uploaded. Now, for many of those that miss the class, we we'll just, you know, Running through what exactly we should be treating. So, 
um, how break number one is to be the subject matter of UI UX. We have asked a lot that um, what is UI UX? Yeah. So some places that term seems alien to them. What is UI UX? You know, and you now hear product design. So places want to ask what's the difference between what is different, what is product design, what is UI UX, what are the differences? And then when you now see here web design and web development, uh -uh. so I'm hearing UX design, I'm hearing web design. So uh, we just run through that now. So UI UX is is simply an acronym for um user interface and user experience okay so it, it entails um it entails quite a lot it's pretty pretty huge okay so how So I'll share my screen now. Let's even start by this, okay? Um, you can see my screen, right? No, yes, we can. Okay, so you can see this. This is Google, right? This is just a simple interface through which I would uh, use to you know, assess a whole lot of other information, right? So now, how do you make this sense how it is? You realize that um, a search engine, you know, there are various designs to this, okay? Depend, my system uses more of dark mode than I see dark. But we are simply trying to, what we're trying to talk about is the user interface, right? This is a very simple user interface. Of course, Google has, um final um, ui than this it just depends on particular mode that they are so when we're talking about user interface we are simply talking about you know how appealing how appealing a website is to us how appealing a website is to us so when you see this you say okay okay you understand that you don't get angry or confused or disturbed it's just nice and now let's say i want to search something you know i want to use you see that so ui is talking about um view the view of that product why ux is talking about the interaction why you are utilizing why you are making use of that product what what is the experience like that's what we mean by user experience is it a good experience is it something that you want to you know is it something that you like or something that offends you? Which is one way you confirm that is okay. This is for instance now a Google, a search engine, right? Now you realize that well, one okay, who can tell me one key um experience you derive? Why one beautiful experience you get from the Google platform, whenever you're trying to um, utilize it. You can tell that to me. Just anybody speak, 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 speak. I think it's the minimalistic design for me. Okay. It's not the minimalistic look, design and the other person. Like All right. So another key thing is, you know, how it is able to optimize your search. Okay. Based on your keywords. If I start typing now, let's see. Let me see if Wikipedia have written something about me. You see that all, all I'm doing is just typing. Now, based on the keyword I am imputing, it is already giving me 
recommended search results around me in my search. So sometimes I don't have to visit and I hit enter and look at what I'm saying. Wow, I didn't even okay. Henry the gate. Okay, I'm King Henry. I'm not I'm not just Henry, right? You see that? So it just tells me different things. Now you see what we are trying to talk about. Um, while I am typing, it is showing me results. Possible results of what I'm in need of. Possible results of what I'm in need of. Okay, helping it to allow me around. I'm just seeing myself on LinkedIn. You know, I'm seeing myself on Facebook, YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, and so all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all that, that's, that's okay. Now, another key thing you notice, is there are beautiful things. How it moves, you see that? How it moves, okay, let's start with something we are in. What, okay, UI, UX, okay, product design. You see that? I'm just typing it. That's really displayed to me a list of you know, keywords that I want to work with. And now see how it moves from the previous page into the previous page that looks kind of like horizontal into another pattern of vertical. We are talking corporate by school. Of course, they would have done something put the screw in this pattern. Yeah, like in your mobile phones, now you have to be scrolling like this to see some things, right? If they have wanted to incorporate that, of course they could have. Of course they could have done that, but they didn't. They didn't do that, right? They didn't do that. So that's another thing. You see, that's another thing. So this scrolling vertically is a beautiful experience, top to bottom, and just in case, you know, you, you, you are not seeing exactly what you want in you know, that option of related search. This is related search based on things related to what people search. Using the keyword you have included, you can click on this and redirect to related search. And by now you scroll down, they have all called imagination, you know, they know that it because you cannot just throw the everything there, you scroll till infinity. Of course, there are some times where that infinite, infinite scroll is still in some apps, which is still cool. Like we have Facebook incorporates it, where you scroll and you never see the end. Instagram, you know, TikTok, and all those other apps you use. But when you're searching, of course, there is there's a point where you get what you want. You see that once I get to the end. I cannot click, okay, I'm not seeing what I want. I click on more results. It just keeps displaying to me. Although this one now is a new feature. Before now, all, all this is I what we call pages. Once you scroll to like the last, you see, you see the page tag underneath here. You see the page tag underneath here. See page one, page two, page three, all of that. Just like, um, yeah, yeah, you can even, I think you can see that on, 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 Let's see, Conga, which is, I don't know why I just love Conga so much. <laughs> Let's just search from um, a phone from Conga that I have to get Xiaomi 30. Let's see if they have it here. You see that from typing it, it incorporates that same thing. From typing it, you see how ah, it is showing me possible results of what I am in need of. And then once I enter here, right? Once I enter here, why why these people, why they are why is their own phone cheaper than what stores are selling now? Yeah. Wow. So I think there's a situation where. Okay, let's search for something that's, let's just type Xiaomi. Let's not type something full. Once you get to, so you get to the end, you see what we're talking about. This is called pagination, which of course is very cool for, it depends on the kind of product, right? So, all right, that, that's, let's just go ahead to our notes. So what we are treating is UI UX, right? And what we say UI UX is, you see, 
So um, let me just read what we have on this Google here. It says product design versus UX UI design. Then product design is a holistic concept that has ownership. Output UX is a definition of UX, user experience, and UI, user interface design, right? UX design focuses on the total user experience with the digital product. UI designs focuses on the visual experience of the digital products such as fonts, colors, animations, which is what we are trying to talk about. When we see UI, we are simply talking about the fonts, the colors, how visually appealing is it to you? How do they group these pictures here? How is everything going? How is all that, all this and that, right? Um, we see, you notice one thing here, everything is kind of like in a, you know, a, a vertical kind of rectangle, and that's a product card where the products are being displayed. You see how the orange color of conga, how it blends well with the purple, which is the purple kind of thing, which is their primary color. When you are coming to a website of various products, you see how everything is just in sync, how everything depends well. How are you able to do all that stuff? That's the simple what we mean by you know the UI design, everything visual. You know, I was talking about that there are some apps that when you go to, let's say I see a product that I like and I decide to add to cart. Look at that. This place here now is zero. Once I click on add to cart, it increases to one. The number of items I keep, I keep adding, the number here increases, which is also what we're talking about with user experience. So user experience is you know, the overall animation, the interaction, all those stuff that you're deriving. Okay, so in the notes I gave in the class, I said UI stands for user interface and the X stands for user experience. And I said, both of them are very, they are core aspects of designing and bringing them to their relationship with um, products. You know, you have to know that everything is a product, right? This is Conga. We are currently in Conga, right? So this Conga is a product. Junior is a product. So there are products that you can categorize as under e com That uh, an e com of course, you know, is a digital product. So you can say there are two kinds of products, you know, tangible products and intangible products. So digital products and physical products, however you want to put it. So your laptop is a product. Your phone is a product. So when you say you are a product designer, you know, it all depends on which particular product that you are into. Are you into physical stuff? Even down to cell phones like this one, they have product designers, people that come up with design. Like, okay, let us put the pen here. Don't bring out the pen. This, this, that, that should happen. There are product designers that does all this stuff, right? Then it's trained for, you know, these are the jobs of product designers, okay? So, Nice for those that are into physical design, right? So we'll teach to products to like if um, justice asked, you know, some of the best thing was asked if designing is just solely into you know digital products. So you know, it depends on how far you go with the scale, you can actually you know get into as far as you know designing physical products. You know, that's why, so we, I call you are the designers. We are more like the architects, okay? We are more like the architects of designing. You know, before you build a house, you don't just go and start building a house, right? You have to get, you know, architects to sketch what you have in your mind, try to bring it to life for you. If it is something that you like, if it's something that you want, okay? So I'll just draw it on a note. So if you like to take notes of, of the class, if you like to take notes, so you can just, you know, you can come here and you see what we said there, UI, UI refers to the visual element. 
elements, the visual elements and layouts of a digital product. So including buttons, icons, typography, when we say typography, we are talking about the fonts, not like the fonts, uh, font color, all those stuff, the um, paragraph, page indentation, all that is typography, the colors and the overall aesthetics. You know, it focuses on the looks of the product, right? No one is designing a product. So just think for instance, right? Okay, let me ask a simple question. When you think of UBA, what comes to your mind? What color comes to your mind when you think of UBA? Red color. Yeah. The red color. Red color. What comes to your mind when you think of MTN? Sorry. What comes to your mind when you think of MTN? What color comes to your mind when you think of MTN? Okay, yellow. Yeah. You see all that. Now, that is what we are talking about when we say go. So, these things have come into your subconscious that I tell you, going somewhere, you see the color yellow. You will not even know that the thing that comes to your mind is empty. You know, when you see a shell, you see, ah, that's why sometimes it has got to turn next, and there are some companies that don't really need to write their name. All you will just see is their logo because their logo have already been driven into your mind. You know, this is their branding. You see an apple that they beat in half by the side. Of course, you know, it's an apple product, either the MacBook or the iPhone. You know, you see a robot, a green color robot. You know, okay, that is Android, all that stuff. Okay. So, and then we said UX. Um, we said UX is more about the interaction of the product, how the product interacts, you know. We said the goal of the UX design is to ensure smooth and satisfying user experience, ultimately leading to higher user engagement and retention, okay? So, yeah. Um, so before we proceed, I don't know if there's anybody that has any question. I was trying to run through what we missed out during the last class. Does anybody have any question? I'm um, the last class. You talked about the difference between design and developing. Yeah. And we also wish, okay, please tell us now. Ruth, tell us what the difference. I thought you wanted to explain it as you asked me what else we talking about. What? You were going to say you're a boss. Me? Yes, love. Oh, okay. Okay, you said um, designing is. Like the actual process of how do I even put it? Okay, I'm here as well. What? Earlier, you are more like the architects of any product, right? Just like you cannot build a house without your architects. First of all, you know, it's really a design, a blueprint of how the house will be. And it's from the design that you do, when you start calling the engineers and the medicine and the labor, they will follow the design of the architects. They will use that to know where the block will be, where you understand. That is still the same thing when it comes to product design. You designers, you are like the architects of digital products, right? It is what you have designed. Then when you like give it to, you know, the developers, they are more like the engineers, right? They call them engineer, right? So they are the ones now. So all those colors that you chose, they'll use everything that you design and give it to them. They'll use all that they are designing. You work with exactly what you give them. You, you understand? So that is, so we are, we are provide like the blueprints. We are like the architects. Why the developers are like the engineers that brings you know what we design is virtual, is is virtual, is visual. 
all you can see is just see it and test it out, just like when the architect designed for you in 3D, Archicad or AutoCAD. You know, AutoCAD have gone and all these softwares, all these CAD softwares, you know, computer aided designs, they've gone to an advanced level of where you can literally, even with VR, carrying on with VR, that headset in here, right? You can literally enter into a house. Okay, they can build a house for you, put some cars by the side in your garage. All of them are virtual. You know, you can scroll around. Now, if you need help of VR, these houses that are designed, you can enter inside this house, you can climb staircase, you can do all that. It's all virtual. It's not real. It's not physical yet. So that is who the developers are. They are the people that will now use codes and programming languages to bring all this design to life. Okay? So that's why they seem as though our job is a little easier, especially if you know that you're not even a person that likes to use codes and programs and scares you. Of course, you're welcome to design it. And if you like small code, there is also the aspect of designing that has to do with small code, maybe to need to CSS to add some flexibility to your design. All right. So one key concept I would love us to begin to look at now is what I call sketching. You know, so there is a design process. Before you go into designing of any product, right? You don't just, of course, you don't just go into, you don't just take any products. You don't just wake up one morning and decide to, and decide to design, right? There's a process that you have to undergo. Okay, so one of the one learning one learning process is kind of like um, before you design, I think the number one process is what we call research, UX research. Okay, UX research. So UX research is you first of all make researches, you know about the products. Like we stated earlier, anything you want to design, if somebody comes to you that, um, I want you to design me an e-com, or somebody comes to you that, I want you to design me a fintech, you understand? Whatever thing you're being asked to design, of course, you know that you're talking about research. Okay, like all the things we stated earlier, you do a little of research. I have opened Comra by the side. Okay. I have opened Comra by the side. So I will open Junior now. And I will open Amazon too. And I want you guys to pay very close attention to all what we are trying to talk about here, right? As you can see, there is a very big process. There is no much difference between all this stuff. This is Amazon's website. Amazon is an international e com right? Let's go to Jumia. This is Jumia. It's our local e com here in Nigeria, right? Although we have some offices in Egypt and all these other countries. And this is Jumia. Now look at this. Are you, did you spot any, any like, any technical or structural difference? Did you spot any technical or structural difference in this? Let me just pull I'm waiting for you guys to answer. Hey, I think it's the same thing. Thank you. So it's actually the same thing. That's exactly what we are trying to talk about. Well, see, you want to design a product, right? There is a standard of design. So just like if when we treated in the last class now, if you say you want to get a product now, you click on one, you notice something that the buy now, a buy now button is usually very, very good because that is almost like the 
action they want to control you to take. Those like they actually want to control you to take. Look at this app, cut very good, very good. They want you to get that program. They don't want you to just come scroll and go away. No, no, no. That is not that is not what we're here for, right? We're here for you to patronize us. So all these things is what we call, you know, user research. So there may just be a little structural, um, uh, it's called design standard or design principle. There may be just what we call, you know, little um, differences in grammar. Like look at the more international fair now, they have the time to cut and they have the buy now. You can see the buy now is way, way deeper in contrast than the hard to cut. Um, Julia only utilizes hard to cut. As long as you hard to cut, you cannot go now and just click on buy now. Coda utilizes just buy now. Of course, you can click on buy now, it automatically adds to cut and prompts you if you want to. Continue shopping, or you want to pay? You understand that? So all well, that is just that. So you look at all these existing things. Say, okay, let's say I'm King Henry the Great now. I'm dropping about ten million dollars to build the best home out there. So this is literally what you do. You, you, you will not just go up one morning and just start doing that because no. You would make your research, especially based on already existing, already existing products in that same line, right? Make your research. Make your research. Say, okay, I want to look at the mobile view, the mobile view of this product. You know, you open, you activate the mobile mode, you know. See the mobile mode, you click on any product to see how it will appear on that sort of. See, okay, this one now is forcing me to create an account. No, I'm not ready for that. You see all that. So you would not just make common sign. You click, you browse around already existing products, right? You check around already existing products. Okay, what are they doing, right? They know they are fighting every day. Lots of things they are going. Their concern is what can I do in my own make it better. You see now, you see in the mobile version when we were in desktop, the binder how to cut and binder was somewhere here, but now it is under because in mobile all we do is scroll, right? So we now say, what can I add to mine or make mine better? People like us, Junior and Kong guys, using just one, and they decide that in Nigeria we have two living Kong and Junior. Junior is just hard to cut. Kong is doing just buy now. So he allow now buy now because that is what I want you to take action. So the house and they decide to make buy now bold, put hard to cut to small. You understand what I'm talking Just little, little differences. You know, little, little differences in design or pattern. Of course, the structure will be the same. So you can make your research, just like I was trying to tell you. If I click on this Add to Cart, now you see what we have. It will automatically, if I click on Add to Cart, you see what Jumia will tell me. It automatically Add to Cart. Okay, and this is on the same way with their sponsor. Hey, XMS, I just trying to tell me to. Buy insurance. No, I don't want to buy insurance. You see that? You see how this ad now is very, very bold. And this kick is a little light because they were they are hoping you take this action. All that will be looking into the click on skip. And you see what happened here. One has been added to cut. So if I decide to increase the number I want to add, you see that if I click on two here, I'll go to two, three. You see that now once I'm once I'm full, I will now come here and I click on cut. Then I cannot continue shopping. Maybe I'll click on checkout to understand that. Now let's experience the same on on Conga. Clicking on buy now, what happens? Automatically it has added it to cut and immediately it has brought me here. Do you want to continue to check out or 
do you want to continue shopping? You see that? So I don't know about you. I prefer the Conga experience. And I still like it on the Junior Airport. So you look at all the states that everybody is doing. How can I make my own better? Right? How do I make my own to beat all this? So that is the research. We look into already existing products. How do they function? Where are they getting very right? Um, how can I incorporate that in my own? Yeah, I did not get this very right. How do I make my own very right? Okay, so that's what we're talking about UX research. So you can still search UX research. So let's see the definition of UX research. So UX research is a systematic study target users and their requirements to add realistic context and insights to design processes okay which is what i have just done for you in real life but just in case you love um, grammar you can use this you know target users okay our target users is ecom right their requirements what are the things i am expected to see in an ecom you understand all these stops is what we are trying to talk about when we say you know ux research okay now before i even go on this i can give you let us talk about um job um as a designer if you finish your job um jobs jobs from ui ui ux designers so in case somebody would like to ask what kind of jobs do i have available for me as a designer so number one you can be a visual designer a visual designer you can be a visual designer you understand of course you know what when i say visual designer you understand what i mean visual designer meaning you want to focus on just the visual interface just like when we design when we define the UI, that is what to focus on the UI of design, the how everything looks, how everything feels, this and that, that and this. That is where you want to focus on. Okay, then because uh, what do you do? I'm a visual designer, you know, all that stuff. Then we also have on um, the interactive designer, okay. You just love, you just love. Adding, you know, those little, little animations that are to design how people scroll, how people scroll on those pages. You want it to be better. You want to make it look finer and cooler. So you be responsible for all that as a as a UX designer, right? That is literally what you'll be doing. That is literally what you'll be doing. Let's see. As a UX design, uh, it's an interactive design. How people scroll, all those feel they get from their scroll. Um, let's say, like you saw, we searching for a product. Why searching for a product? You write as I type what keyword, you know, as I type keywords, I don't need to enter for the product to be displayed to me, right? I don't need to do all that. As I type, that's it suggests to me, you know, how the suggestions are being coming up. When I click on search, we will give an instance on that class that day. We give an instance of the class that day. We used a product, right? We used the product. Let's say we can Twitter.com now and see what happens once we hit the enter. You see this. This is how to do it. See how to do it. See how this login happens and everything starts coming up. This is another thing that interaction designers are responsible for doing, right? It's something you know, that interactive designers are responsible for doing. Okay, so um, that's uh, another thing is this what we just said uh, is UX researcher. You see, some persons can detect okay, that is number three. Some persons can decide to focus on UX researcher. We simply mean by UX researcher is your own is going to be more of the grammar. You know, you go, you make research of what 
What are the things or are the things you do? What is the trend? The things I need in my product now. What are the things I need to integrate in this product to make it sell, to make people do this, to make people do that? You understand all that stuff. So that is what you do as a UX researcher. You would make the researches. Focus on the researches. What are users? What do users enjoy more? They enjoy scrolling left, do they enjoy scrolling right, do they enjoy scrolling from bottom. So sometimes you will have a very beautiful idea. You begin to test it, right? If your specialty is UX researcher, you carry these products, you get people, they should try it out. All right, tell me which one do you prefer, which one do you like more? You understand? This is simply what um, UX researcher do, you know. And I will have also animation designer that is animation designer will be that will be designing studio on animation. Like if you want to have animation on the website, you know, add animation on the website. You know, there are lots of them, okay? There are lots of them. I cannot just keep going on and on and on and on. So um so start taking note of your assignment. Assignment number one. List list seven jobs. List seven job rules available for a UI UX designer. List seven job rules available for UX designers. So that is why you know, we are in Nigeria. We thank God for the kind of country we are. This thing I just mentioned to you now, it is what, what when you go outside there, you know, they want you to specialize on here. This is not saying specialize on here. So you can try to try that one in Nigeria here. They can't come that will finish you. Come that will finish you. So that is why, you know, Still have all for general designer. So you make your research, then you will be giving you all the assignment. So general designer meaning that they can do, let's say, let's not say everything, let's say almost everything. You understand? They can do almost everything, and but they can do visual, they can do research, they can do animation, they just have a touch of everywhere. So Depends on the kind of business they now want to work with. That business may now decide to take them that, hey, I want you to specialize here. Then they cannot specialize. But now, why now? Imagine that you now, you have chosen that how to specialize as a visual designer. You are going to want to do research, you want to do interaction. You see that, you know, it will be a little bit more difficult for you to get a job. Once you can do a general designer, Whichever one that comes, you just, you, you get what I'm saying, you say, whichever one that comes, you do it, you understand? So they will do one that they specialize for us. If they don't want you to specialize, you know you are not going to do everything, right? So that's that, so that's that. So after, okay, now let me just quickly proceed. Let me introduce a new subject matter, which we are going to be treating very, very soon. So after. We after you made your research, after we are going through our chat section. Everything I'm talking about, I'm putting it in the messages. So click on that chat, you will receive all the notes I'm dropping. How to assign it? I don't ask the question, but. So, for what I said now, I just got another one. After you did that research, another key thing you would want to do is sketching. Okay, you don't just make your research. Okay, this is this is this is what happened. This is what happened. Then you now go straight into designing the finished product. You know, there are lots of things you have to take note of. Okay, now that is where we are talking about. Um, um, sketching and so, all right. Anyone just tell me what is your understanding of the term sketching? So, just commit your mind and, and speak. What is sketching?
it's robots doing um behind drawing of the reason thing one to create or design. Okay, the drawing you want you want to design, okay. Thank you. Any other person please? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can. Please go. Okay, uh sketching I simply means a diagrammatic uh, representation of uh, whatever you intend to design. A diagrammatic representation of whatever you want to design. That's a beautiful one. That's a beautiful one. Okay. Any other person? Sketching is a free and your idea. Okay. Okay, we've spoken very, very well. We've spoken very, very well. We've spoken very, very well. Let me paste. I have another set of assignments here. So, in class activity, the top I have here. Um, I said, we got out of importance of considering use as in design, and I believe that we've spoken about that. And then we said, identify your product, and then that's how well it aligns with human set and design. Okay, we also look at that now. Let's just see, let me just do first sketching. See, we can say sketching is. Is a rough representation. Oh, let me do this way to help me. Right now, just put my head. The rough representation of an idea. So, this is perfect. Okay, sketch. In order to say sketch, I know you can sketch. So, sketching is a rough representation of an idea. Okay, so let us just stop here before Google Bit shuts me up again. The last class I just finished with data science. I was talking it in just cut it out. We have just one minute left. So when we say sketching, sketching is just you have an idea in your head. So you cannot just go and we, we all answer correctly, right? You cannot just go and really start doing everything, right? By sketching what that idea you have in your head, it helps you to be able to build upon it, you know, you build upon it and gradually, gradually refine it, okay, and all that, and all that. So, yeah, I don't know if anybody has any questions, because our time is already up in some seconds. Um, Google needs to be disconnecting us. I hope you enjoy the class. I hope you enjoy the class. Oh, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Hello, sir. Uh, my question, I have a question. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm a new, I'm just a newbie in this stuff. I've not attended any physical class and uh, I have... It has disconnected us.